The Ohio-class submarines are known to cost approximately $3 billion each in today's dollars. In order to be practical as a nuclear missile carrier, they need to be nuclear-powered plus the cost of crewing and maintaining a fleet of these vessels. And yes, it needs a fleet. On the other side, the ICBMs are much cheaper to build a concrete hole in the ground. It only needs a few personnel to manage a missile launch complex. No reactor, no underwater, so the maintenance is very low. Based on the missile aspect, the ICBM's missiles are typically larger and can carry a greater payload or multiple warheads. This means that they are capable of delivering a more powerful and destructive strike. Another advantage of land-based ICBMs is that they are not dependent on the mobility of a submarine host, which makes them harder to locate and track.